Krishna. So welcome to the Vishnu Bhagavan class. Today, today is a very auspicious day, very very important day for uh, devotees who are in the parampara of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in Iskon, all the devotees as a Srila Prabhupada, he wrote in the Nectar of Instruction that he starts his preface by saying that we are all the followers of Srila Rupa Goswami. So on the devotees in Iskon, we are following the footsteps of Srila Rupa Goswami. So we are called Rupanugas. So that means who are following the footsteps of Sri Rupa Goswami. So today is the very very important day. Today is the most auspicious disappearance day of Sri Rupa Goswami. So uh, I decided that today we will discuss about Sri Rupa Goswami and also about Sri Sri Radha Govind Devji, who is the beloved deity of Sri Rupa Goswami. So, Sri Rupa Goswami was one among the six Goswamis of Vrindavan who were sent to Vrindavan by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to, to establish the temple, to establish the temples of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna to find out, rediscover the Leela places past time places of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. So they, on the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they came here. So Rupa Goswami was one of the prime among the six. So Sri Rupa Goswami, actually like uh, when uh, the mantra we sing, the Sri Chaitanya Mano Abhishtam Usthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kada Mayam Dadati Svapanantikam Sri Chaitanya Mano Abhishtam Sri Rupa Goswami Sri Rupa Goswami Pad is said that Sri Chaitanya Mano Abhishtam means he knew the heart, the innermost desire, the mind of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He knew the heart of the Lord. He knew what Krishna, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, what Krishna, what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants, his innermost desire, he knew that. That's why it is called Mano Abhishtam. He know the mind of Sri Chaitanya. Right? So, this is, uh, uh, there are two ways of understanding this, that how two explanations are given. So, one is that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his and the um, reason for appearance to, to give this mercy of Krishna Prema to the Jivas of Kaliga, all the fallen people, to uplift them, to bring them to the spirituality. So, this is the mood and mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He especially he comes in Kaliga to establish the Sankirtan movement to give this uh, Krishna Prema to all the people. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's this uh, mood is established by Sri Rupa Goswami. He wrote those books, he wrote those instructions. One of the prime book uh, which uh, at the Sadhana platform we read is Nectar of Instruction and Nectar of Devotion. Right? And so many other books uh, write so many poetry, right? wonderful uh, and then he did uh, the temple, uh, Radha Govindavji temple, the deities uh, re-established and he found so many places of Leela. So in this way, he by his teachings, by his writings, he made it very easy for the people to get the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in one way, he actually understood the mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he preached that his message. 
And another explanation is that he knew the mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So how he um, actually once uh, uh, in the Rathiyatra, when Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dancing in front of Lord Jagannath, that time he was singing some song. So people thought it is some mundane song. It is some song which a girl may sing for his uh, boyfriend. So that song Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is singing. Everybody thought, why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is singing such a mundane song? So, because the song says that I am the same girl, you are the same boy, and we are here together, but I am not feeling the same ecstasy, same happiness. And then this is kind of a song, song which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was singing in front of Lord Jagannath while dancing in Rathi Yadra. So, nobody knew. Everybody is singing a mundane song. But Sri Rupa Goswami Pad understood the inner mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he once, uh, one day, what actually Swarup Damodar also knew this thing. Only he knew. He was a personal associate and he knew but nobody else. So, one day Sri Rupa Goswami, what he did is that he he wrote this uh, verse, this song which Lord Chaitanya was singing. That song actually he understood the desire, the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he created a verse and he wrote on a leaf and then he put it in the near the door and then he went for taking bath. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually he will come every day to Rupa Goswami place in Puri. So actually Sri Rupa Goswami and Sri Sanatan Goswami, Haridas Thakur, they are the ex- most exalted devotees, the personal associate of Lord. But because Haridas Thakur took birth in a Muslim family and Sri Rupa and Sri Sanatan, they were working for a Muslim king. They were employee of a Muslim king. So they considered themselves, even though they are most exalted devotees, but they considered themselves not to be that they are not qualified to enter into the Jagannath temple, so they will never enter into the Jagannath temple. So, Lord Jagannath personally will come out and meet them. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, whenever he... So, every day he will go and take darshan of Lord Jagannath and he will accept the garland or some prasadam from Jagannath and then immediately he will come directly to meet Sri Rupa, Sri Rupa and Sri Hargas. So, that day also, after taking his darshan in Jagannath Mandir, in Puri, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Rupa Goswami. And when he was entering in the heart, he saw there is one leaf, and he said, out of curiosity, he took it and he read. And when he read, he was shocked how this uh, Rupa Goswami knew my heart. How would he write this thing? This is my most inner desire, this is my inner. Uh, mood. How can Rupa Goswami know this? And then immediately he went to uh, Sarup Damodar and he asked Sarup Damodar, how Rupa Goswami knows? What is my internal mood? How he knows it? Then Sarup Damodar very nicely said, my dear Lord, this means that it is only because of your extraordinary mercy, causeless mercy, that he knew your heart. So in this way, Sri Rupa Goswami Pad, he knew the heart of Lord Chaitanya. That's why he says, Sri Chaitanya Manu Vishnu. So you see that the teachings which is given in Prayag, to Sri Rupa Goswami by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Those teachings he put into the his writings, especially Rupa uh, Desha Amrit and other writings. So, in the beginning of creation, Lord Sri Krishna gave this knowledge to Brahma. Dene Brahma Hrita Adi Gavaye. So, similarly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu imparted this knowledge within the heart of Sri Rupa Goswami in the prayer. 
so that's why he was selected he personally lord gave this knowledge to him and he was the most prime and he is originally sri rupa manjari who is the uh, most dear manjari of shrimati radharani so that is why we are following the in the footsteps of sri rupa goswami and we are all called rupa nagas so sri rupa goswami was living in vrindavan he was always full of anxiety because he was not able to find all the deities right so there were some deities established by vajranava the great grandson of sri krishna he was the ruler of mathura so he established a few deities and after some time because of uh, the invaders and some other dangers devotees felt that they may the invaders may destroy the deities so all the deities were hidden sometime under the uh, in the well or in some other location or uh, so this uh, all the deities were hidden and uh, then uh, sometime they were hidden in the in the and under the so many stones or sometime under the in the water so some deities were found but one deity of sri radha govind dev ji was not found and sri rup goswami was always feeling sad because he was feeling that he is not able to fulfill the order of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu he is not able to find the deity of sri radha govind dev ji so govind dev ji he was always meditating always thinking wow where is govind dev where is govind dev how to find he was always sad and one point of time he felt so sad he was so full of anxiety because of not able to find govind dev so god seeing the anxiety of his wonderful pure devotee he help himself to find the deity so one day sri guru was saying pad was sitting there and he was like crying and very sad and thinking that govind dev ji when i will be able to see you where are you so that moment when a small coward boy came to sri guru goswami and he said baba Why are you so sad? So, even though he was a very small coward village boy from the nearby village, but Rupa Goswami, because he was so full of anxiety, he just spoke his pain, his anxiety to this boy only. He just spoke that I, I am giving this order by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I am not able to fulfill. I don't know where is Govind Dev Ji. Where to find? He used to go every house and ask, Do you see this deity? Do you see this deity? Have you seen like this? He was asking. He thought maybe some Brajavasi is having in their home a worshiping as personal deity, or like that some might have seen in some cave of Govardhan or here there. But nobody was able to tell. So he just spoke all this pain to this boy, and this boy said, "Baba, I know one place which is very strange place. This is one tila, one hill, and the name is Goma Tila. So this hill, there is a strange thing happening every day. What is that? There one." particular cow comes every day and this cow every day she comes there and that her udder is full of milk very healthy cow so much milk and she comes on top of this hill and a very particular location every day same location she will come and stand there and she will pour out all the milk there on the hill on that land every day she is pouring out the milk just like that because generally in order to take the uh, generally in order to take milk from the cow 
somebody has to actually um, uh, do this milking, right? Farmer has to do. But here, ba boy said that Baba, every day this cow will come and she will pour out all the milk. And when the cow goes and I went there and I checked, there is nothing on the land. So this is a very strange thing. So Sri Rup Goswami understood that this is the sometime this name the place. He got the idea and he said, "You can you show me the place?" So the boy said, "Of course I will show you. Please come." And then he said, "Baba, you just follow me." And this small coward boy, he took the he took Rup Goswami and showed the way and he took him to the hill. Right. So that hill, after going there, they were sitting and waiting, and the cow came. Like like every other day, the cow came on same day also, and then she just reached to that location as said by the boy. So that same particular location, he that cow went and stood there, and after some time, the cow looks full of love and affection, like her cow's face. Was looking like a motherly face, and then cow started pouring milk on the land. And this Rup Goswami and the boy was there, and they were watching. And after some time, the cow, after pouring all the milk, cow went away. And then they saw there there was nothing on the land when they reached. And then Rup Goswami got confirmation that his beloved Lord Sri Sri Govind Dev is here. And when he saw this, then he turned to tell this to the boy. And when he turned on backside, there was no boy. Then Rupa Goswami understood that it is by the mercy of Krishna that he personally came and helped me, and he directed me that where is Govinda. Then very soon Rupa Goswami called all the villagers, and he. Uh, told them all the story and he asked them their help in order to dig the hill. And they were all digging the hill. Everyone was very enthusiastic to see the beloved Lord Sri Sri Govind Dev Ji. And for many centuries, Govind Dev Ji was under the hill and nobody knew. So all the villagers, Brajavasis, they were thinking very. That uh, Govind Dev Ji should come out very soon so that we can serve him because so many years he was under without having a, a, any service, without uh, uh, taking proper uh, accepting proper service. So everybody was doing very enthusiastically and they were digging up and digging up and Guru uh, Gosain was riding here, here you bring it like this and that and he was also telling that be careful because anywhere. Lord can be there, so we should, in the process of digging, we should not hurt the Lord also. And they were doing it, doing it, doing it, and they went on digging, and then they found something there. And then they very carefully removed all the dust, all the uh, earth, and then they found the most beautiful form of Shishi Govind Devji, black form, so height like this, and. Uh, very beautiful face, and that was the that was like full of ecstatic moment for Sri Rupa Goswami. And then they had a festival and they established the deities and see the deity in the temple. And the temple was made with red stone, the highest temple of Vrindavan Sri Sri Govind Dev Ji, which had seven stories. And it is said that uh, King Man Singh was the main person who helped Rupa Goswami in building this temple because uh, he was also like disciple of Sri Rupa Goswami. And Akbar personally gave this red stone for Rupa Goswami to build a temple for Sri Sri Govind Dev Ji. And this temple was so so tall, seven story building. And on top of that seven story. And they, uh, the pujari will keep one lamb. So it is said that when the British rule was going on in India, that time this uh, 
building was there uh, sorry uh, in the mughal time this building was there and this uh, lamp which they used to keep on the seventh floor uh, this light can be seen from the fort of agra which is another city so from agra this mughal emperor so this is after few generation because uh, this temple was built when the akbar was the king but after that there were few generation and then the another king of mughal emperor he could see the lamp of sri gobind dev ji temple from his fort in agra so that became the problem and that generated the envy in the heart of this mughal emperor and that envy made him to order for the destruction of this temple so he made he sent the people to destroy the temple and they started doing that and unfortunately they were able to destroy the fourth floor from top and when they were approaching to the next floor to break then the whole temple was crumbling and there was vibration and there were different different sounds and all the the laymen who were working under this mughal emperor so they felt very afraid and they ran away and everybody said that nobody is coming to break the temple because they are afraid there is something happening in the inside the temple so because of that nobody could further break the temple and that's how we see is still the same temple now here in vrindavan which having only three floor and there are some signs that it was broken so only three floors are there so on top of the hill this temple is there located and that is there are three floors so even though now if you see it's so high even in three floor it is so high you have to tilt your neck full up and then only you can see whole building and it's still it is so high you just see so if it is possible that it is uh, when it would be seventh floor it, um, it will be easy to see the light from the agra so that temple is there and those deities sri sri gobind dev ji they were moved to jaipur right so in jaipur gobind dev temple in the palace of jaipur king it is still there and still being worshiped very gorgeously and in morning mangala aarti 5 o'clock there are minimum 5000 people in that temple and everybody is shouting and with love and affection sri jai jai radhe govinda like that they are shouting every day it's amazing there and you can see the and photos and you can take darshan of govind dev ji and you will find out that how beautiful he is so radha govind dev they are the deities of sri rup goswami pad and sri rup goswami pad is our um, avideya acharya so there is a sambandha avideya and priyojan so, sambandha acharya is sri sanadan goswami so his teachings are mainly focusing on our sambandha with krishna and rup goswami teachings are focusing on our process to achieve krishna and krishna prema so that process is called abhideya so madan mohan ji is the deity of sanatan goswami so uh, in order to get the sambandha knowledge uh, with the, uh, about krishna so we must uh, so madan mohan ji is there and uh, abhideya deity is govind uh, uh, dev ji and abhideya acharya is the Rupa Goswami. So Abhideya means the process to get Krishna prema, and the prayojan is Krishna prema. So that is Sri Sri Radha Gopinath ji, and uh, uh, Acharya is Raghunath Das Goswami. So, so uh, as I said that Sri Sri this Mughal invaders were there, so because of their fear. the radha gobind dev ji was moved hidingly into jaipur so most of the deities are moved to jaipur gopal is moved to nath dwara 
and uh, Madan Mohan ji is moved to Karoli, Gopinath ji again moved to uh, Jaipur, Gopinath ji and uh, Damodar and uh, Govind Dev ji, they all moved to Jaipur. So also devotee uh, say that Jaipur is a hidden Vrindavan because all those prominent deities are there in the Jaipur. Right? But still, those temples are here and they are Pratibhuti and uh, that uh, Pratibhu Murti is worshipped in those temples here. So in the Radha Govindyaji temple, the old temple is still there and there they worship Vanutsa Vigraya and backside they have uh, made a new temple of Radha Govindyaji uh, where they worship the Pratibhu Murti of Radha Govindyaji. And in Jaipur, in the palace of Jaipur king, they have, there is a temple of Sri Sri Radha Govindyaji where the same who, the same Sri Govindyaji who was worshipped by Sri Guru Goswami Pad is still being worshipped and is still giving mercy to everyone. So this was the uh, little uh, glorification uh, for Sri Sri Radha Govindyaji and Sri Guru Goswami Pad for their pleasure. Uh, on their most auspicious disappearance day of Sri Rupa Goswami Pad. So we pray that Sri Rupa Goswami uh, bless us and uh, we know that Sri Prabhupada used to say that he used to get direct instruction from Sri Rupa Goswami. So for us it is very important uh, to, to pray to Sri Rupa Goswami. And Sri Rupa Goswami mercy we have already received through Sri Prabhupada because Sri Prabhupada has very mercifully translated his teachings, especially nectar of instruction and nectar of devotion. So we we can read these books of Sri Rupa Goswami which are translated by Sri Prabhupada and we can get the mercy which is just waiting for us. So when we read the books and follow the instruction, then Sri Goswami mercy is already there with us. Okay. So uh, today is the most auspicious day. So please, uh, uh, I request that you can find out some time in our for reading nectar of instruction book. So it is actually very small book. Only eleven shlokas are there. So first time when I read nectar of instruction, I read it one full day, and all I think I took some four hour or five hour, and I completed the book. So if you have good time, uh, then at least how much is possible you can at least read the full book or one verse, two verse, five verse, eight verse, whatever. So book is having two part, part one to eight and uh, one to seven and then eight to eleven. So at least one part you can read. So this is the request. So please go ahead and all the very best. Hare Krishna Shilu Goswami Padikija, Pilbhupa Adikija, Sita Gopinand Hare.